So these days, everything in your house basically requires an internet connection. My TV requires an internet connection. So does my Apple TV and my cable box and my lights and my laptop and my iPad and everything I have plugged into my networking corner down there over there. And then I come down into my office and not only do I have my editing PC, but I have my laptop, I have my printer, I have a security system up there, I have my NAS that's in the other room, and honestly, I'm not really even entirely sure how I need to connect everything. I might be able to help you. I have some ideas. I have some ideas. I have this compulsion. I have to help. Wait. <laughs> Where did you even come from? I was in the network. I was just looking around. He's Somebody always... say something about 10 gigabit? He's always here. Be Quiet introduces a new way to keep your PC build cool, silent, and looking fresh. Meet the Silent Base 802, available in black or white, windowed, or silence focused. Each case comes with interchangeable top and side panels, a fully kitted out front I.O. selection, three Pure Wings fans, and a completely modular interior layout that lets you even run the system inverted. With support for up to 420mm radiators or a full complement of hard drives, make the Silent Base the start of your next PC build. Check out the link below or head to BeQuiet.com to learn more. Wendell! What's going on, Hello. my man? How's it you're, going? You're somehow in my computer, and uh, I very much appreciate that because I actually need some information, and I think you are just the man to help me out. Um, so I got I got this thing. I got this this ingenious switch, and I'm pretty sure it could help me out um, with my home network. But um, I'm not an expert in that arena. So why don't you tell me? Why might I want a switch? Ah, the old ECS twenty five one two FP. So yeah, it just rolls right off the tongue. It's, it's least... a great, it's a great model name. So yeah, technically, I would say that this is not, this is definitely not intended for the home market. This is a relatively high end switch. Well, like medium high end, because it does power over Ethernet. It delivers power over the two and a half gig ports, the Ethernet ports that it has, but it also has ten. Uh, SFP plus 10 gig ports, or it has four uh, 10 gig SFP plus ports and a console port. So this is a great switch to be like a central switch if you're going to have a bunch of devices that use power over Ethernet. Because let's face it, in a home network, more and more, um, you're going to have a, a lot of wireless access points. Because think about like the pandemic. Think about like you've got all of you know everything running wirelessly your tv's probably wireless your laptop's probably wireless i feel sorry for you if your desktop's wireless but hey sometimes you got to compute somewhere that there's not a wire and you know that kind of thing and trying to do that on a single access point is just asking for trouble and it's it's better to use a lot of small access points um that are relatively low power to get better coverage better range and better density higher density of devices and this thing has eight power over Ethernet ports so that you can run that. You can also run PoE cameras. Generally, cameras don't really need a lot of power. This is PoE++, which means that it can support very high wattage power over Ethernet devices. It's really designed for those really high-end access points that have multiple antennas going in and out. It also has um, the fiber, which on mine, I actually had this at home. And uh, I use the fiber side of you it. You have you have the same switch at home? I do, and because I've got a crap load of wireless devices. Yeah. And, uh, and on on the other end of it, I've got the 10 gig version, which is in the workshop. And so the workshop is kind of a long run, and I'm using the fiber side of this to connect to the workshop workshop switch, which is uh, 10 gigabit. It's 10 gigabit, you know, through the whole thing, and yeah. that has worked out exceptionally well for me. So even if you aren't going to, even if you don't have a 10 gig connection at your home, which you know most people probably don't, uh, I don't. I have a one gig connection here. There are benefits to using a switch just for things like plugging in your TV or your your home PC, just because it's going to be able to better prioritize that traffic um, within your network. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, there's so Ingenious offers a uh, this cloud management software. You can still log into the switch locally and do a lot of fun stuff, and that's that's all fine. But the cloud software will give you an idea of what's going on with the switch, and it'll give you a little bit more control over uh, what's happening with the other devices. If you go for the full Ingenious, you know, suite of devices, um, you can basically control everything from the single 
cloud control panel. And then the configuration is saved within the device. You really only need the cloud to reconfigure it. So you can actually, you know, if you wanted to, you could use firewall rules to turn it on and off. That's that's basically fine. Um, right. The, the fact of the matter is, I mean, it's two and a half gig. Pretty much all devices now are two and a half gig. Even the new, um, you know, network storage devices, are two and a half gig, like the, the, the four drive QNAP, um, NAS that I reviewed the other day has four two and a half gig ports in it, uh, hmm. and so you can use that with something like this. You wouldn't use all four of them because that's going to eat up half of the connections that you have, but you could use something like that with this. And you know, your desktop is probably going to have a two and a half gig connection in it at this point. I mean, even Intel's got their two and a half gig connection, so like your yeah. you know your base home wired network running at two and a half gig, it's totally fine. But uh, even the higher end, like again, you know, it's like we're enthusiasts. We're not going to get the cheap you know, home wireless router. Uh, most of like the four by four home or the, the four by four wireless access points um, that can do 802.11ax, most of those are not gigabit anymore because gigabit's not fast enough for mm. even for wireless uh, when you get that many antennas in and out. So those those will also be two and a half gig. And PoE is just the cherry on top because you can actually power the devices that are actually um, PoE. I've got a Raspberry Pi that I run off of uh, PoE. I don't use the, the official Raspberry Pi PoE hat because it can't deliver enough power, but there's a third-party PoE hat you can get from China that's PoE Plus, so you can deliver a lot more power to the Raspberry Pi. That works great. So that is, I mean, that is the primary function of this device. Um, let's switch gears, though. Let's pretend that, Wendell, you are, you are an avid gamer, okay? And you have a LAN coming up, a LAN party coming up at your house. And you just want to have eight people on the same network playing against each other. Does this work for gaming? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is nice because probably the people that have, a, you know, any machine of like the last two years probably has a two and a half gig Ethernet port. This will be nice because everybody can run a two and a half gig. But I can also run the Steam cache. The Steam cache, and even though my internet connection is only gigabit, they're going to be able to download from the Steam cache at two and a half gigabit, no problem. Wow. So, I mean, it definitely has a few uses around here. Um, I wasn't expecting to uh, to put a switch in my home. I have, you know, a couple of routers around that seem to do the job okay. Um, but the more I think about it, the more connected devices I have, and the more a switch actually might just be useful, not only for me but for a lot of people. Um, but you know, to each his own. And one, um, one thing that really annoys me about if you use the if you use the the modem, like it's like, oh, my router has four ports on the back. When you have to reboot the router, and you inevitably will, all of the things that were plugged into it lose their connection. And it's like, well, what if I was streaming, you know, from the Plex media server that's local to the TV? That's going to interrupt that. This this you don't you don't ever reboot these. They never reboot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is definitely a benefit. I know that I, I often have to do that. You know, you have to reboot the router, if the power goes out or whatever, you know, <laughs> things, things get funky. Um, but hey, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time. And I really appreciate you coming by and just giving us a little information on what switches are, what how they work, especially PoE uh, switches like this one. Um, and I'm going to have to find a good use for this in my house. Um, so I'll probably be calling you back. <laughs> If you uh, if you did not plan well and only ran one cable to like say an upstairs bedroom or something like that, they also make end wall PoE Ethernet switches. So you can get a four port faceplate that will give you four one gig ports, but it's a two and a half gig backhaul to your PoE switch, and it's powered by PoE. Man, technology is wonderful. It is. Yeah. Very nice. Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, get back to uh, doing some level one tech stuff over there. Uh, you want to you want to shout out your channel? Tell people where to find you. It's fine. I'm, I'm just it's a lowly computer janitor. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, they don't even need to go and find them. It's, <laughs> it's all right. All right, man. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So thank you so much to Wendell from level one techs. Go check them out on YouTube. Even though it was kind of creepy how he ended up in my network somehow i don't know that guy's weird but now i have this switch that i'm going to install down here hook up 
all of my connected devices, hopefully better prioritize some of that internet traffic and get some better performance out of my systems. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this video gave you a little bit more information about what network switches are and how they function. Leave a like down below or a comment. Let me know if you use a switch or are interested in the switch or if this helped you out and also consider getting subscribed to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you next time.